Yo, what is happening everybody? Magnification to them here guys with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 Episode 17 to 19 another triple watch through um, I'm excited as fuck Not as much maybe as the last time because last time um, People were just hyping me up a lot for that um, Triple watch through this time not really they haven't really been telling me anything about the next couple of episodes only that it's good, you know, but not anything in special, so I don't really know what to expect. I guess maybe we're gonna be facing off against Melone, but um, since it's three episodes, I would guess that not only Melone, but we may get another fight as well, or we may get someone that is with Melone or something. I don't think Melone is gonna take three um, episodes to be defeated. Maybe he will, maybe he will surprise me, but since the last three episode watch through was basically... Um, Pesci and Prosciutto, I would think that this time it will be Melone and someone else as well, but we'll see, I guess. We're gonna try to get Trish to the boss, I guess, now, or maybe not. Um, that's what they need to do, that's what they have to do, right? The mission is taking Trish to the boss. They just stopped the train in the middle of nowhere, so they have to get back inside, I think, or something, I don't know. Or, but they, yeah, they need to go to where they have to go to, but now the fact that Trish is a stain user, was revealed to Bruno and everyone else, and they're like, what the fuck? You know, like, what is this power you have? Uh, the power she has is probably the reason the boss wants her. She may have a very specific power that is gonna be useful in a way. But she doesn't know, I think, what, what she can do. She's probably just like Jotaro in part 3 when he got his stand. Uh, he didn't really know what, uh, what, what it was and what it did, right? And I think that's basically what is happening right now with Trish. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm I'm just gonna get straight into the episodes, okay? The link for the reaction will be in the description, go check it out, and come back to YouTube after you are done with that to watch the post-episode discussion. With that out of the way, let's get straight into it. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy crap. Final order from the boss. What is gonna be the final order? Holy shit, next episode's gonna be hype. Let me go through the episode here. And yeah, dude, this was too good. This watch through? Holy shit, this was the best. Jojo just keep getting better and better. Last watch through was the best. This one is the best now. It's just getting better. We got Melone, creepy ass fox 10 in episode uh, 17, episode 18. We got Gacho. Um, and in 19 as well, dealing with him, his stand was really cool. And we got some boss stuff. Dude, holy, the boss. Where, what the fuck, what? let me let me go back here to that post credit scene. I was too focused on the fact that the boss was here, that I didn't pay much attention to, like, what uh, it said. I think, like, he got some information, right? Was it Risotto, like, let me see here. Risotto's whereabouts are unknown, currently searching airports, train stations, and the area uh, surrounding Naples. So, okay, Risotto, he's out! He's, he's either out because he's scared, he's like, fuck! You know, he's like, shit! I gotta get the fuck out? He's either that or he... He's coming to get his... You know, he's like, fuck! All of my fucking uh, guys of my team got fucked. So like, let me do, let me try to do it. You know, I have to do it. At the end, he's gonna have to do it. He's gonna have to prove himself. The boss, is, we're gonna see him soon, probably. I wish we got to see him here. Not gonna lie, he took his clothes off. I was, I wish we 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 got to see him here, but we didn't. Fuck. But yeah, the teasers that we have been getting have been fucking good, dude. The fucking teases and the, the, his voice, we got to hear his voice, holy crap. <laughs> Let's go from the beginning, um, we started this episode out with Giorno, he was still in the car, in the middle of the river with Mista. Mista used a fucking, some grass that, um, Giorno created to create a fucking snowboard and a fucking slide through the ice, holy shit. Like, uh, and then the, we get the whole confrontation after that because the guy's like, holy fuck. You know, like, uh, the guy, Gacho, he just takes his stand off his, uh, I mean, not his stand, his, his eyes, right? He, he just unfreezes everything, goes after Mista. Mista 
down there, down the river, trying to like find out a way to fucking kill this dude. He finds out about the fucking thing here in the in the back of his um armor, right? The breathing hole that he has. He finds out about that and he targets the hole. Yeah, then we get some really crazy shit, dude. We get the, the guy like fucking doing some trickery ass fucking shit to fucking survive the attack and uh journal just uh making the grass revert to its original state which was uh car pieces right and fucking uh, he has something on his forehead mista f keeps shooting to try to fucking force that into his fucking brain almost does it dude this guy gacho his resolve is strong not gonna lie like holy fuck i'm impressed they were able to defeat him but yeah we get some backstory out of nowhere man um which really makes me worried, you know, cause Mista, he wanted to, he, he, he felt like that was his responsibility, right? He wanted to try to kill this dude instead of uh, focusing on the mission, instead of getting the, the fucking thing and running away. He wanted to finish the guy off before doing that, so he knew that, like, that was his choice, and he did it, and, um, he fucked up, right? So he was like, shit, he was prepared to, um, basically just sacrifice himself for the mission right at the end because of that and right before that we get the fucking backstory stuff you know and i'm like shit dude i don't like backstories out of nowhere like this i know that this part has been different but before in jojo's like in part three for instance with um with kakyoing we got his backstory what happened in that episode he died so that's something something that usually happens same with shiza in fucking part two got his backstory he died uh, so like yeah, basically, backstories are not good. When you see backstories, like, it depends on the show, of course, but usually it's not good, you know? At least in JoJo's. Uh, this part has been different. Everyone has their backstories already, other than Bruno, of course. Everyone has their backstories. Because of that, because everyone has their backstories, and because they got it really early on, I'm like, you know, like, they're safe. They, they, they are fine, for now at least. Um, You know, like, of course, we may get deaths in this part, but... We are not gonna see it coming because we're not gonna have a, a fucking backstory out of fucking nowhere, you know? But no, they did that here, so I was like, shit, is, is Mista actually gonna die? No, he won't. He won't die, you know? <laughs> because of Giorno, he didn't. But yeah, that was, I mean, not, not only Giorno, of course. He himself as well. It was not just Giorno. But yeah, anyways, um, the backstory stuff was really interesting because we got to see their um, fucking young Mista being recruited by, by Bruno. Uh, I love how he just accepted joining in right away right and yeah anyways anyways um this dude has a fucking gacho has a fucking thing here on his fucking on the back of his fucking uh knack fucking piercing it holy shit bro what the f and then he freezes the blood to keep him in place and shit just some really crazy stuff <laughs> I like you know like bro good shit like man, holy fuck! That whole that whole stand encounter, dude. In the end of that, he still got fucked because every basically every time he shot a bullet, the bullets would return to him and fuck him up. And like, that's why I thought he would he might die there, you know. At the end, he was fucking bloodied, fucking destroyed, basically. Um, and yeah, that scene where <laughs> we got the um. The sun rising, because it looked like um basically Mista was dead, right? It looked like Mista was dead there. No, all of a sudden we get something here on his fucking head. Um, like the the place where the bullet was at, just we get like skin again. Like what? It was Jarno using his stand when the sun is rising? We get to see Jarno with the sun in the background. This fucking golden, beautiful motherfucker with the sun on the background. Just a beautiful scene, epic, great, amazing. Everything, every good word you can use to describe it, it is, okay? Let me actually take this. I don't know why I still have my headphones on even after that, but you know, like I already finished the episode a couple of minutes ago, but yeah, that was just fucking, fucking good, fucking good. And like, holy shit, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm too hyper this this discussion i i just watched one of the fucking best things ever in my anime career you know what i'm saying <laughs> like from the enemies i've seen holy this watch rule has been one of the best things ever dude
<laughs> I'm sorry, but like, this is peak Jojo, you know? Like, if you like Jojo, this is the peak of Jojo. Like, the peak of stand battles, the peak of craziness, of beautiful shit, of funny shit, of <laughs> everything, dude. This is amazing. And yeah, they were able to defeat Gacho, dude. Um, and because, because, right, because of what um, Jorna did, Jorna's resolve, he showed uh, Mista that, no, he shouldn't just fucking try to kill himself right there, right? Try to, I mean, not kill himself, but try to sacrifice himself for the greater cause. No, that's not it. That's not it. He should win. He should fucking win. He shouldn't like, he should win and survive and, and complete the mission and survive and kill him. All of that. <laughs> and he did, like, and he showed him that with the blood, right? When he fucked his arm up. And then Mista um, doing the same to, you know, create the fucking blood splatters and fuck this dude up. And man, holy shit. Anyways, I'm, I think I'm just going to finish this off, you know. Um, before I do, let me talk about, first off, the boss. Risotto, my boy, Risotto. He's either gone, he's either like running away, which I don't think he is. Or he's gonna show up soon enough to try to fucking do, you know, the, the, the last attack of the Hitman crew will be just him being here and trying to get Trish and trying to like do shit. It's gonna be interesting. I don't know what his stand is. He, he's probably strong as fuck since he's the leader of the Hitman crew. At least I get that. They didn't like really um, um, straight up say that he's the leader, but I get that feeling that he is, you know, and he is probably strong. He is probably gonna be here soon trying to f fucking kill us. That's why I'm saying he's not like, um, he's not running away. Dude, this Otto, that motherfucker's not gonna run away. That motherfucker's gonna try to fucking kill, um, fucking kill. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. He's gonna try to fucking get trash, I guess. But maybe, I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. The boss looks like he doesn't give a fuck. I was thinking maybe we were gonna see the boss like he was gonna be here and gonna be like, you know, um, He's gonna, he himself is gonna be here fucking killing, cause yeah, he's looking, he's looking for Risotto. So like, he himself shows up and is like, Risotto, the fuck you were doing, bitch? And like fucking kills him, you know? <laughs> that wouldn't be epic as fuck, but I don't think, I don't think he's gonna do that, bro. I don't think he's gonna do that. The boss, he looks, he looks like, he doesn't even look worried, you know? He's like, mm, will they be able to do what they have to do? Their last mission here and shit? You know, he's just like watching. He doesn't give a fuck. Um, I don't know, man. Dude, this is fucking good. This is fucking good. At the very end of the episode, we get the one of the best scenes ever in JoJo so far. Arancha is returning and he sees Jorno giving uh, Mista the suck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck is this shit? He doesn't even want to look at it. You can't really blame Narancia for thinking that was the case, right? Because Bruno said uh, they are probably really bored of waiting, right? Because they, they probably think they have been waiting here for a long time. No, it wasn't It wasn't that. They fucking faced a stain user, got fucked up. Um, But yeah, he's just like returning and he finds fucking uh, <laughs> Mista saying, uh, please be more gentle, Jorno. <laughs> And shit is like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> that's that's fucking amazing. Very interesting to how Jorno used basically his um the thing he learned in the same one through here with um what what is his name um Babyface with Babyface right the thing he learned he can basically do healing not really healing I think yeah I don't know he can do healing but not really you know it's not straight up crazy diamond but it's it's so much of a of a healing he can do. And that's nice, that's nice that he learned that by accident. And you know, anyways, guys, I'm gonna finish this video off, okay? I... As you guys see, I'm too hype. I might fucking die here of a heart attack if I don't finish this video off. I couldn't watch more JoJo today. If I watched more JoJo today, not gonna lie, I, w I would probably die on camera. I can only handle so much hype at once, you know what I'm saying? This was good as fuck! Definitely one of the best fucking anime watch rules I've had in a long fucking time. This was good as fuck. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you all next time with the next watch through, which I don't know what will happen, but it's gonna be hype as fuck, whatever it is. I don't even know how many episodes I'm gonna watch, but whatever, whatever it is, it's gonna be good. Even if I watch only 
20 on its own, because 20 is the last last order from the boss. Even if I watch only, that is gonna be probably really fucking good. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Um, but whatever the case may be, I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.